Hello everybody. Right, I'm just about to fit the foot plates in the cab area of my local and I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, I think on my last video you've probably seen me doing my cylinders. Well, I've basically I've got, I've got them all to shape and I've got the, the old board out but before I go any further with those there's a reason I did those first because on my loco I'm, I'm just deviating slightly from from the drawings etc and I've decided to put a foot plate the full length through on, on the full length instead of just in the cab area like you find on most sweet peas and meter maids uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't think I'm going to go for the saddle tank either I'm going to go for the pannier tanks so that's my plan so the reason I wanted the cylinders uh, machined out to shape because I've made these from solid cast iron I've not bought no castings and you can see all these in my past in my past videos I've, I've, I've logged everything that I've done on this basically <clears throat> so just one thing to be wary of if you if you're following this design or if you decide to in future when you put your angle through to rest your foot plates on when you get to the front of the loco here depending on what size angle you put on you just have to be wary that at the front here where the cylinders fit I'll just thread this cylinder on to show you when it's got the valve chest on, it comes through. It comes above the foot plate like that. So you've got to, if your angle's too wide, you've got to make a cut out in the relevant place for your cylinders. So that's why I, I got them uh, machined up first, so I could offer them up to Loco and uh, decide how much wanted cutting out. So that's just one thing to bear in mind there. Now the foot plates themselves, I've, I've bolted uh, two pieces of angle full length and I've used buffer beam to locate them on each side. Then I've put an angle on, on the frame here and that'll be continued. And now I'm fitting my cab foot plate so this is where my cab's going to be in this area and I've had to get this foot plate finished to get my reversing lever fitted because that goes straight through the foot plate holes uh, so when I get to the way shaft and the valve gear and everything and the cylinders I will have to start making little cutouts in foot plate when I've got everything finished off you know just for these to operate obviously so my, my cab foot plate I'm using uh, 16 gauge mild steel which is approximately a sixteenth I've got this all painted up now and I'm ready for fitting them and I'm using stainless, stainless steel M3 uh, set screws to attach it to the angles so I've got my holes drilled uh, equal to equidistance spaced and I'm just about to fit this last this second foot plate now and I've decided to use stainless steel because especially in this area at loco there's going to be a lot of water and a lot of steam and you know there's nothing to stop you using mild steel bolts or whatever they'll just you know they'll just go rusty if paint comes off them so that's just going to save them, them going rusty anyway you're probably not going to see them anyway because they're inside cab and I've just used six M3 screws on them on each side because I've actually threaded threaded the angle with an M3 thread but just to be sure that nothing's going to vibrate loose I am going to put and I've done it on this side 
I am putting uh, a nut on and a washer and I'm just going to get my Dremel and, and cut off any excess screw that's stuck out. Once I've got my nuts fitted uh, and that's it then. So I've managed to get them all on now and I've got my reversing stand bolted straight through the foot plate now. I've also put my my brackets on that support my boiler, the feet of the boiler. So once I've got, now I've got that done, once I've got my smoke box assembly done at this end I can fit the boiler and I've just got to fit the axle pump which I've not fitted yet. I've done that, I've shown you in another video of me, me, me doing that. That's just going to bolt onto this stretcher uh, over, the, over this axle and couple up to this rear axle and it's eccentric. So that, that's got to go on before my boiler fit, before my boiler goes on. And then uh, I'm going to continue now with these cylinders, get them all drilled out, uh, get the portholes mill milled out, etc, etc, and then it's onto the valve chest. Then I can get them fitted and then move on to, probably onto this um, smoke box uh, bracket that's going to hold the, hold the boiler on. So yeah, that's it then. Uh, if you've not seen all my other videos of me making all these components, take a look back and uh, I did a complete series on how I did the boiler. And thanks for watching and bye for now then.